Hey there, Cancer. Uh, welcome to your reading for the week of March 27th. Uh, this week, definitely check out astrojar.com for more awesome readers and astrologers. But let's see what we have going on for you. In the area of finance, you have the Jack of Clubs. Very good card for looking into the future and, and planning out better things money-wise for the f future as well. Coming up with better ideas for money, coming up with uh, new ideas for money, and even new ways to make money as well. Uh, it can have you also um, looking at things with like a younger younger set of eyes, seeing things in a, in a different way. Uh, so it's definitely a very good card. And even though it's coming up in your financial section, this can also represent an admirer, somebody who's interested in you uh, at this time. Next, you have the Ace of Clubs. Ace of Clubs is a card of, a uh, very good card, my favorite card in the deck, represents abundance and always coming in for you. And it can also represent unexpected money gain, unexpected money uh, coming in at this time. I'd say if it doesn't come in this week, it could come in, you know, uh, during, you know, the rest of the month or even April. We have, uh, you know, Uranus, is Jupiter opposite Uranus is here. And, uh, you know, I think there's plenty of opportunities for everybody to experience some unexpected financial gains. Also an amazing card for learning and learning new skills. Um, and it even says if you're going to school right now or uh, if you're teaching yourself new skills, these things could be uh, directly profitable at this time for you. And, you know, it could also say, again, if you're going to school, that you're going to school for something that could definitely uh, make you money. Next, for the area of love, you have the Jack of Spades. Jack of Spades, again, can represent an admirer. All Jacks represent admirers, people who are uh, interested in you, or they at least they can. Uh, and it can also uh, represent um, somebody coming in who maybe um, is more of a disappointing relationship, hate to say it, uh, at you know, just at this time. But again, you know, we usually can move past these things rather quickly. And uh, if you're in a relationship, it can say, um, be careful of things like money or sharing things in the relationship at this time because, again, there could be some deception there. Usually not an overly bad card, so I wouldn't say to worry about it, but maybe just keep an eye on things like finances in a relationship. Uh, you also have the Ten of Spades in love. Again, Ten of, ten of Spades can be a card of, of worry and disappointments, but mostly from the past, thinking about worry and disappointments from the past. I'd say water signs. The one thing, especially if you're single, I think that the one thing holding back... Uh, um, water signs at this point for uh, in love again especially if you're single um, is past disappointments allowing things from the past to kind of control um, where things are going now in the future um, and, and like you know allowing past hurts to affect the way that you see yourself so then it affects the way that people see you and you know creating all this stuff so again try to try to move past a lot of that and um, and try not to, again, allow your past to affect you too much with this card. The good news about this card, though, is it's like the Ten of Wands. You know, the Ten of Wands is about, um, you know, losing a heavy burden, putting down a heavy burden. So it does say that you are moving past these things, which is nice. Uh, next, for your general advice, you have the Three of Clubs. It represents getting a second chance at something, having a, se a second chance coming in um, for you in a lot of ways. Again, this could be... Um, in love, you could be not experience. It's not a second chance that it's somebody coming back, but it could be maybe you feel like you've lost your chance to find true love, and this could be true love coming back in again where you thought you have maybe lost it or you won't have another chance at it. Um, so that's nice, and it could also represent second chance in like an economic sense, feeling like you're finally able to catch up on bills and stuff like that in the future, and you know you're not gonna have to worry about that anymore. Next, you have the Eight of Diamonds. Really good money card. Represents uh, financial material success on the horizon. More money coming in. Uh, finding better ways to earn money. Finding better ways to save your money even. And um, becoming more financially uh, responsible in a lot of ways. This card can represent new jobs. new Starting new jobs. Starting new business. Um, and it can also represent uh, finding like finding a job on a trip eight the eight and you also have the nine of diamonds as well nine of diamonds can represent long distance um, and both these cards can represent travel and finding a job on travel you know while you're traveling somewhere else nine of diamonds again another card that represents a new job so it looks good for those of you that want a new job um, and it can represent uh, even moving in general, just moving to somewhere else. Uh, and it can also represent you feeling restless at this time, wanting to kind of get going. I would say, again, pretty much a general like water sign thing. I think water signs are feeling a little bit restless at this time, wanting to move forward 
um, you know, on projects and not really being sure what to do. I would say that's probably the, the hardest um, thing for water science maybe like this week and next week is I think that the, because of Neptune and some other thing, I think there's this general sense of um, like wanting to do things in life and then kind of like feeling like the, the, the signs are pointing you in a certain direction, then you go that direction, and it doesn't really seem like it's right, so then you start going some other direction because there's signs pointing in another direction. It's like all over the place, like confusion. So I'd say give it a little bit of time. I think things will clear up once we get past these retrogrades, um, and things will be uh, more clear. But anyway, it looks like a nice week, so thank you for watching, and enjoy.